My name is Kelsey Hartman and I was born with one hand. Some doctors guess that maybe an amniotic band got wrapped around my arm and cut off the blood circulation, so that prevented it from growing. Growing up with one hand, it had its difficulties. When I was little, it did not bother me at all. I was just like, this is just how I am. And I went to a Catholic school from preschool all the way to fifth grade. I grew up with these kids and they were used to me and they were like, oh, that's just how Kelsey is, she has one hand. And then sixth and seventh grade, I decided to go to a public school. My first week there, I was treated so differently. People looked at me differently, they stared at me, they pointed. I constantly got made fun of almost every day. That's when I really started to be insecure about my arm and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm so ugly, like why am I like this? And I, I like hated myself for it. And then in high school, I went back to Catholic school with most of those kids I grew up with. No one treated me any differently and I started to gain my confidence back a little bit, not all the way, but I've learned now like this is how God made me and I've accepted who I am. Um, my parents are really supportive. They always told me I can do anything I put my mind to and they never babied me. They never were like, oh, she can't do that. Let's, let's keep her away from that. They just, they were like, you can do anything and they helped me to be really independent and so I learned to do a lot of things on my own, like my own way. I learned to do daily tasks just by practicing like on my own. I remember sitting in the living room, practicing tying my shoes and learning how to paint my nails. I just kind of tried to do it my own way and once I figured out a way that works for me, I just did it like that. I've been cheering for 10 years. I wanted to be a cheerleader ever since I could probably talk. I thought cheerleaders were the coolest people ever. I loved their uniforms, their hairstyles, their routines, everything. I remember I would go to high school football games just to watch the cheerleaders. My favorite part about being a cheerleader is definitely cheering at the games. I love cheering at football and basketball games. Um, I love getting the crowd pumped up. I love doing stunts and kind of wowing the crowd. and. I also think it's really fun when little kids will come up to us and they'll be like, can we get a picture with the cheerleaders? And I think it's so cool because I used to be that little kid. My mom came to all my games, all my practices, my competitions. She was so supportive. Like she was my cheerleader. She was my number one fan. Then when I told her I wanted to try out to be a cheerleader in college, she was like, go for it. Without her pushing me, I wouldn't have been able to do it. I think my cheering helps others because they look at me and they think, wow, if she can go in front of a crowd and overcome all those fears, then I can do that. I found my love for helping other people through my faith. Um, I grew up going to Catholic schools my whole life and we were constantly taught to be kind to one another and to show compassion towards each other. So through my faith, I know I can help others. I am currently helping others through my YouTube channel. I make YouTube tutorials showing people how to do things with one hand. I have videos like how to put your hair in a ponytail, how to paint your nails. Sometimes I'll have parents contact me and ask me to make certain videos. So one day a mom messaged me and said, my daughter's learning how to drive. Will you make a video showing how you drive? So I have a video showing me driving. I, um, I also have a video showing how to use a prosthetic arm. My biggest goal in the future is to become a nurse. Um, I really want to be a nurse so that I can help others like the way I've dreamed of helping others my whole life. I wanted to study to be a nurse because I love the medical field and I love health. I think the human body is so amazing. And I've always wanted to help others and I know through nursing I will definitely be able to help everyone. I'm still deciding what kind of nurse I want to be. I'm thinking about going into emergency room nursing or um, women's health. My faith has helped me through my life because it's given me a relationship with God and I know I can constantly go to Him with anything, all my struggles, and I know that He'll help me get through it. If I could tell the world one thing about myself, I would tell the world that I am capable of doing anything that you can do.